I'm avoiding relegation and welcome, 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 welcome to episode two of the Rise of Oz Balenz. Um, basically, um, you saw us a little while ago. The last one was recorded live on stream. This is actually being recorded just for YouTube, just because I didn't get to stream yesterday. I'm going to record a special episode for YouTube. I hope you hope you're happy with that. Obviously, um, the first game you saw, or the first game that was released on YouTube, at least if you didn't see us on Twitch, was the two 0 home win over St. Trent's, which of course was our first game of the season since then. It's been pretty good, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you how things are doing. Um, we beat S Sporting Ideal 1-0 away. We beat Fontinas 2-0 at home. 1-1 draw away as Scavenence. That's our, well, it's our only dropped points thus far. We beat Cova da Piada, uh, sorry, Piada, Piedade. Tell me why to get to these names. Cova da Piedade, 1-0. Um, Albeit in extra time, but that was actually the PT Cup third round. Bearing in mind, sorry, the uh, Fontinas 2 0 win was the second round. Um, two more games in the league after that Corusense and Pero Panero, both of which were 2 1 away wins. So, as you can see, we're pretty solid. Last match was uh, at home to Lures, and that was the championship as well. Um, but obviously, these teams we've knocked out the third round, Cova da Piedade, they are also in the championship. Oh, sorry, I tell a lie. They're in the third division, which means they're actually above the championship. So they are third tier, not fourth tier like us. So that wasn't a bad win, but it also gives you an idea of potentially how strong we are. So, uh, yeah, we won an extra time, 1-0, but it was a close match. But today's match, and the match for this video, is the fourth round of the Cup. And we're up against Santa Clara. Now, Santa Clara are a Portuguese Premier League side. So chances of beating them pretty slim but we're going to give it our best anyway and so that is what we're going to do now so we do have a couple of injuries um a couple of people we're missing for this match um one of which is ruben who of course is our top scorer he's scored five goals now um and uh, he's our number one center forward and of course cesar medina uh one of our main center backs he's also on the injury list as well um so we're bringing in a couple of uh, players who may not be quite up to standard necessarily but we'll see how we get on like i say we are not favorites for this so chances are we're not going to come away or we're not going to carry on to the next round but as it stands and we'll check this after the match i'm pretty sure i've already surpassed the board's expectations for this competition so should be all right so i want you to pick up where you left off last time out because of course we did win poor old rice is nervous again um I'm going to speak to him first, because last time he was all right. I just say, no pressure, because he was all right after that. And then with the attackers, I trust you to make the difference. Make me proud. And that should make them a wee bit. So we'll go to kick off. Balenz, Oz Balenz in the blue. And uh, CDSC in the red with the white shorts. And then there's a Balenz kickoff. Marinero finding Kikas. Atunes. Benny. Certainly keeping possession. We haven't given it away to them yet, which is fabulous. But uh, we also haven't got out outside of our own half yet. So, like I say, we are the underdogs and it is a corner. That actually looked like it went in. I'm not bad yet. Uh -oh. They're on us again. I feel like we should be playing a little bit more cautiously. Let's hide. Alano passing it around, looking to create an opportunity. Valence holding firm. Oh my goodness. He was offside, but that one hit the post. That was certainly a decent effort. But yeah, Santa Clara already the aggressors, though we have had one shot, none on target. Zapedro. Nicholas. Puts the ball through Kickass. Saved by the keeper, but is a corner for Belenz. And is Zapedro to take it? Oh! We've gone 1-0 up from Fabio Marinero. A little bit of a flick on. Well, actually, I don't think it was a flick on. I think he just got ahead to it and steered it home. He did. Keeper was unlucky, I think. But uh, we're 1-0 up against a Premier League side. And we're fourth tier. Lincoln with a free kick for Santa Clara. Enrique. Zapedro clearing it. Herlander finding Nicholas. Nicholas already on a yellow. We're only 21 minutes in. Reaper Benny. Kick-ass. A Tunez with a through ball for Kickass. Kickass with a cross. Unfortunately not. Goal kick for Santa Clara. 
So that's exciting. Three shots, two on target to their four and nil. Seems to me defensively, we are definitely holding our own. So well done, lads. Like I say, we are missing one of our first choice defenders. But uh, clearly that doesn't matter. Brito coming up the right. Keeping hold of the ball. Not getting past his man. Benny, kick ass. Ball over for Riprera. Little Shimmy has a shot, but Marco saves it. And we've got another corner. A Tunis. It's cleared, but not very far. And it's still with Osbalens. Kick ass out wide for Brito again. And we're not going to see what happens. Oh, so Pedro with a free kick. Oh, it came off the post. Again, Balenz looking like the aggressors. As I say, Santa Clara are a premiership side. So I'm waiting for them to turn on the style. But, uh, oh, my goodness. That was incredible. I'm impressed with our defending and we managed to clear that. We just forced a corner. But we are still 1-0 up at 36 minutes. Lincoln. And it's nodded over. Goal kick for Osbalens. My oh my. Rice not playing well. Atunes not having a great time. We will maybe do something about that at half time. Shame about Rice. He is yet to be particularly consistent. Yet he is, I would say, a very decent or has a potential to be a decent player. But yeah. Half time stats five shots, three on target to their six and one. They have the higher XG at 0.75. Ours is 0.45, even though, of course, we are 1 0 up. Um, two corners each. They fouled us a lot more, but we've had 94% of pass completion. They're 90%. It's 64% of the possession. That's pretty serious. So, I'm just going to say, well done with the possession. But I'm thinking I need to take Rice off just because. A, he's got the yellow, and B, he's not having a fun day. So, it's suggesting Clay, but I'm not sure that Botas isn't the right choice. But Botas actually is our backup striker at the moment, so we'll go with Clay. And we'll make that the only substitution of the halftime. Kick off for Santa Clara. Paolo Henrique finds Lincoln. Nene up to Lincoln. I think somebody's been shouting at, the, at halftime. They're definitely going to be coming for us, I would suggest. So... Give our boys some encouragement. That ruined it a bit. We had green faces still and did that. I know we're 1-0 up, but they are the premiership side. And they've got the 1.07 XG. Ours is still at 0.45. 62 minutes gone. We've not seen a highlight in a while. I'm going to give us some more encouragement. Corner to Santa Clara. Oh, far post. And it's nodded over. Goal kick to Balance. 10 shots to on target now. We are holding on. 73 minutes. Come on, Valens. What a result this will be. Kick ass for Seneca. Done. Or should I say Seneca for kick ass? Bless him. Corner for Valens. Clay to take it. Oh, it's cleared. Lincoln finds Ricosta. Ricosta puts a ball in front of Jean Patrick. Who makes it 1-1? It was pretty much a solo effort from Sean once he got the ball. Yeah. He'd certainly got a leg or two, and he just slots it in at the near side. Valence 1, Santa Clara 1, 85 minutes gone. It was maybe only a matter of time to Pedro. Looking very tired. I feel like at this point I'm going to waste time and drop a tempo down a bit. With a view of keeping hold of possession and maybe holding on till extra time. We're in extra time. There you go. We held on. As you can see, they've been pushing us a lot harder. We kind of stopped pushing them out there, so. Let's see what we can do. I have faith. Go on. I have faith in all of you. Let's go. So we've made all three subs at this point. And like I say, we are in extra time. Fourth round of the Portuguese Cup. Clay finds Herlander. Herlander is probably a little tired by now. In fact, he's not playing very well at 6.3. Bless him. Still 1-1. 97 minutes gone. Corner for Santa Clara. Fortunately, they've nodded it wide. We do have another sub. I should check that. That's fine. Mansur with the throw in. Mohebi. 
Come on, Balenz. Oh my goodness, what a save. What a save from Valverde. Keeping us in it, it's... Wow, it's extra time, half time. It's still 1-1. One, one. We haven't lost yet. I mean, we're a bit tired. But other than that, it seems to be going very well. So let's... Let's see what happens. Ball with Santa Clara. They're going to be a little bit more patient. I've dropped us down to defensive, which, given we were playing cautious earlier. Cross-blocked. And I think where they're trying to... Uh, come in wide, let's force them. Force them on the inside and screw it up for them. Lincoln with a corner. Cleared. Clay clears it further, but only as far as the Santa Clara player, but... It has interrupted their momentum and looked like Carvalho was about to take a shot, but we didn't get to see it. Brito with a throw in for Belenz. 110 minutes coming up. And unfortunately, we've given that one away. Jean Patrick. Ramos. Hi, oh, Costa Puts it over. 113 minutes gone. Frias with a corner for Belenz. Cleared. But only as far as Benny Frias again gets an opportunity to get a cross in. But he's been dispossessed by Rafael Ramos. 30 seconds. I believe less than this. Jean Patrick getting forward. He's got support. Come on, Belenz. Let's stop him. Oh, we did. It's been tipped over. It is a corner for Santa Clara. But time is getting on. That one nodded over. 120 minutes. Throw in. Zepedro. Clay. Neither of them having a great time at the moment. So about now. Clay with the shot. And it's over. We've got a corner. Free us to take it. Come on, Balance. This could be it. This could be the winner. We've snuck an extra time winner before. And it wasn't. He caught it. And we've gone straight to penalty. So I will let Pablo sort that out. And I will say... We're going to need it. I'm proud of your efforts. Keep going. Doesn't want to take a penalty. Free us. He's taking the first one. I think there's a lot I can do about that, mate. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Free us. I didn't pick him, which is probably wrong. Let's go to penalties. Well, perhaps if you click the button. We'd have been here all week and just me watching the crowd uh, me yell at people. Penalties, here we go. Fritas, who doesn't want to take a penalty at first. Sorry, mate. And that's why he didn't want to take a penalty. It's all right. Hyde scores the first one for Santa Clara. So we're already 1 0 down on penalties. No pressure. Come on, Seneca. Puts it home. Lincoln steps up for Santa Clara. He's had a decent enough match. And he puts it out of Valverde's reach. Come on, Antunes. Perfectly scored. John Patrick saved. No. I do wonder if we're just not going to save any and not miss any clay. Kind of puts it at the keeper, which is a bit naughty. But uh, Santa Clara now, man, sir. He's going to miss. He's going to put it wide left. Oh, it was saved by Valverde, but it's only because he shot it at him. Zepedro Pedro now. Can he keep us in it? If Santa Clara missed this, or we save it, we're through. Who, In fact, I think whomever misses the next penalty goes out. I think that's right. Carvalho sinks that one. Herlander now. He is a striker, but I couldn't tell you how good his penalties are. He's fired that one home, and he took it quickly too. So Santa Clara step up. This is their sixth penalty now. Recosta. I can't look. Osbalens, we've won the shootout. We're through. We're through against a with a 
We're a fourth tier side and we're through to the fifth round of the cup. I assume it's the fifth round. It might actually be the quarterfinal. I don't know. Whatever round it is, we're through to the next round of the cup. With us, Belenz, our fourth tier team, just shockingly put Santa Clara, a Premier League side, out of the PT Cup. Solid, solid, solid performance. And it was really special. It's true. So yeah, can't go wrong with that, can you? Unexpected Belen's victory and a penalty adventure against a team four divisions above us. Two divisions, three divisions, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Very, very happy with that. So we are through, in fact, to the fifth round. As I suggested, I wasn't sure if it was the fifth round or what, but yeah. It is the fifth round. We don't know who we have yet, but uh, like I say, we probably won't be getting past that round. I didn't think we'd get past this one, so you know what I mean. The chances are we're going to be up against somebody we can't beat. But we have a look at our group. We currently sit top after six games, one five drawn one. We've only conceded four goals. You'll notice that Scavadens are uh, keeping up with us. are only about two points behind. Um, in terms of how this works, the actual competition, if you actually take a look at the rules, oops. there we go. It's in three stages. The group stage, obviously, which we're in at the moment, and the top two and uh, the bottom, you know, either qualify for the promotion and the bottom for the relegation stage, which is the second stage, if you will. And then the top two teams from the promotion stage face off in a Champions Playoff final. And uh, that will determine who goes up. Now, interestingly enough, um, the team that's second in our group, Scavenens, they uh, actually finished top in the 16-17 season, but obviously did not win the promotion stage or indeed the champion stage if that's what they got to in order to get out so they are still here so it's it's a fairly tough order i guess to get out um but like i say we've had a very strong start and what a stunningly strong cup run we're having that's absolutely brilliant so yeah that's basically it for this episode as i say this is a special youtube only episode but uh, most episodes moving forward will be filmed in front of a live twitch audience and obviously if you want to get involved want to come and join in talk to me ask questions, etc, etc. Please come and follow me on www.twitch.tv forward slash avoiding relegation. And uh, yeah, come and hang out. It'd be lovely to see you. Anyway, that's everything. I'm avoiding relegation. Thank you very, very much for watching.